Because when you think about it, it's a lot more peaceful world because the whole world, even like the Soviet Empire, the Soviet, uh, the Soviet Union's like, oh yeah, we're all gonna be total friends until we get rid of the Decepticons. Yeah, I guess that's what I would go with too. It's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more sovereign and, you know, and static and there's not a whole lot of bad going on. Yeah. Let's think of that question, Unicorn. And, uh, now we move on to Depth Charge 2030, and he asks, What's your opinion on IDW's ter uh, current Transformers titles, uh, Robots in Disguise, and More Than Meets the Eye? <sighs> I like what they're doing, I really do. Um, I've been really liking the changes they do. I actually like More Than Meets the Eye than ro Robots in Disguise. I think it's, but both of them are really good, but I just put a little higher... Uh, I've been liking what they do with what, what they've been doing with Rodimus and the other Autobots they've been using, and I've also been loving what they're doing with Bumblebee on Cybertron and what they've been doing with Starscream in, as a whole. So, yeah, I'm I'm really digging uh, what they're doing with IDW's Transformers. I've only collected like the first two volumes of the IDW Transformers stuff, and. I like it. I think it's actually, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I haven't read enough of it to actually consider it to be great or amazing, but I, I definitely enjoy what I've, what I've seen thus far. I really, I really do love how they actually devote, you know, certain comic issues to entire characters. I really love the issue where we see Shockwave. And his uh, rivalry with the Dinobots, where Shockwave is on Earth and he's just tearing shit up, and then the Dinobots show up, <laughs> and they just sort of, and they just sort of have a big ass fight with Shockwave on Earth. Yeah, that was that was pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And seeing, and especially seeing them when they're first, when they're originally in their dinosaur forms, and that. One panel where Grimlock says, Dinobots, transform! And you see that one panel where they're all in their dinosaur forms. I was like, wow, that's epic. Yeah. It gets even better because uh, a, 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 while, a, while a little while ago, they did Maximum Dinobots, which has uh, Shockwave come back, and Scorponox, the real villain in here. Um, and they have the Headmasters as well, but... The, uh, when Shockwave comes back and Grimlock is trying to get the Autobots back together with him, and he finds Shockwave is alive and kicking, and, and Shockwave's just like, "Oh well, my revenge—it's illogical for me to feel revenge, but I'll—I'll uh, I'll deal with it with you. I'll, you know, I'll override with you." And he's like, "Oh yeah, well, pay, payback's a bitch." I also, yeah, and that's cool. And I also remember reading one comic that dealt with the uh, character of Six Shot, who, who's you know an infamous character who's known for being, having like six alternate modes I think it was a Decepticon or an Autobot he was a Decepticon, he's the one in yeah. Headma he's the one in Headmasters who killed Ultra Magnus yeah, yeah, that's right that was, that was pretty neat it's really awesome how they devote oh, you know, single entire single issues to lesser known characters like that yeah, Six Shot in the IDW comics is like the fucking Terminator <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that, that sounds about right, he's a, he's a real badass. Yeah, um, so the next question comes from Stephen Walker, uh, in Flargo, I hope he's saying that, again, I'm really sorry if I'm messing up these names, what is your opinion, and his question is, what is your opinion on Greg Weissman doing a few episodes of Prime and Transformers Rescue Bots? I think that's amazing, Greg Weissman's an amazing writer. I'm, is this true? Is Greg Wiseman seriously doing episodes? Cool. Yeah, if it's true, then I'm I'm gonna shit bricks because Greg Wiseman, anything he touches literally turns to gold. Yeah, too bad no one can notice that gold spectacular Spider-Man and Young Justice. Yep. Yeah, but hey, as long as the dude gets work, then you know I am perfectly happy. Yeah. So short answer. Fuck yeah. So, next, thank you for that question. Next comes from Samurai Girl 2, 02, excuse me, 
And her question is, do you hope Transformers, uh, future re Transformers reincarnations will have more than one or two female Cybertronians, both, uh, both for the Autobot and Decepticon factions, aside from the iconic RC, Alita-1, and uh, Stryka, or, you know, Moonracer? Um... Yeah, I think that would actually... I, I would be very open to that. Although, to be honest, there aren't really a whole lot of female Autobots or Decepticons to choose from in the original, you know, G1 universe. Well, I think what the question is is that she wants, like, original Transformers to be in future incarnations that are female. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, that, that, that would be a welcome addition, I think. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, I've got no problem with that. Um... It's just that it kind of brings it kind of brings up the old question: is like, why are there female Transformers too? But then again, that's just a minor complaint. That's the only thing like that's the only thing that comes to mind. But I don't have a problem with it. Like, why would be the physical need to have female robots? But in one of the one of the uh, comics of Transformers, they kind of bring up, oh yeah, we it um, it doesn't matter what gender we are. So I'm co I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, I just, I think that, I kind of think they should give the whole, like, you know, female spider robot thing a rest. Yeah, the whole bringing in black arachnia or calling her, or making arachnid. Yeah, I think, yeah, come up with something else, because, you know, black arachnia was cool, I'm not going to deny that, but, you know, they, they should just think of something a little different ne next time. Yeah. Uh, how about bringing back, uh, Slipstream? You know, Starscream's female clone. I was just about to bring her up, actually. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would, that would be kind of neat. Do something a little different with her character. Yeah. Uh, make her the fourth. Oh, Even better. Damn it. Air Razor, that was her name, yeah. Yeah, make her an Autobot this time instead of a Maximal. Yeah. Because I, I thought Air Razor was... Air Razor was a, sort of a character who barely got any screen time back all the way back in Beast Wars before before she and Tigatron were abducted by the... Uh, damn it, what was the name of those aliens? Uh, I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember their names either. Yeah. The Valk. That was their name. Yeah. The Valk. Yeah, and they were fused into uh, Tiger Hawk. Yeah. Or hell, there's an idea. There's an idea for a character. Just, you know, not fuse two other characters. I thought Tigerhawk was badass. Yeah. And like what I said with Air Razor making her an Autobot instead of a Maximals, like they did that with with animated Black Arachnia. They made her a spider and uh, just make Air Razor a female Autobot. Just give her like a female version of Jetfire. So thank you for that question, Samurai Girl. We're going to move on now to Fire Tools, and he asks uh, one or two questions. I'm going to pick to do number two, and he asks, would you like to see a Transformers Godzilla crossover or a Zoids Transformers God a, a Transformer a Zoids Transformers crossover? Um, yeah, I'm more akin to the Zoids. Really? I thought you were going to say Godzilla. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm not so. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the whole Godzilla Transformers mix there. I kind of like Zoids because you know it's it's already a show about huge ass robots, so maybe it could mix make mix a little bit. Maybe the I think maybe the the Godzilla crossover could work. Maybe if it was done a certain way. Yeah, and they're both under IDW, so that could happen. I. And I'd be welcome to a Godzilla Transformers crossover, but like you said, Zoids and Transformers would be cool as well. Like I think, yeah, I just love to see the Transformers expression. I mean, the, uh, both Autobot and Decepticons' expressions when they find out these robots are piloted by humans. Like I'd just be like, "That's sick." <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it'd be like a meta humanitarian type thing going on. <laughs> 
someone like Optimus Prime would say, it is cruel and it is cruel and inhuman to use these robots as your slaves. But we built them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I think it'd be a little more serious than that, but I think it just, like when they first find the Zoids, and they find this like, what is your name? A robot. It's like they honestly think they're other Transformers, and the humans pop out and be like, oh, they're piloted. Huh. Weird. But I think it would be pretty badass to see a bunch a bunch of kaiju from the Godzilla franchise duke it out with uh, Bruticus or Devastator or Predaking or Superion. Yeah. Or hell, even for, even Fortress Mac Maximus or Trypticon. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, Mechagodzilla fighting against Trypticon. <laughs> Damn it, IDW, do this. <laughs> um... So, thank you for that question, Fire Tools. We're going to move on now to Boo Rat. And he asks, What was your favorite Transformers toy line, or toy lines, when you were a kid? Wow. I thought, I, when I was younger, I, I actually thought the Armada toys were actually pretty pretty damn cool. Yeah. And I owned a lot of Beast Wars figures in my younger years. Yeah, that was sort of, that was the sort of the definitive toy line that I, I had was Beast Wars that had, you know, that pertained to Transformers. Yeah. Like, I've said this numerous times before, I am not an 80s kid. Yeah, same here. But if I, like, if I could have one Transformers figure out of all of them, it would be the G1 Shockwave figure. Because that thing, I've seen it so many times, I'm like, God, if it wasn't like over $100, I'd buy that shit. It just looks so cool. Um, yeah, I feel I kind of feel the same way about uh, the you know the old Soundwave figure. Yeah, that son of a bitch is expensive as hell. Yeah, and the other figures in terms of that is like Deluxe Omega Supreme figure. I just don't like if I could buy it. Where the hell would I put it in my room? Yeah. The Omega from I've seen like a whole bunch of videos of guys who did reviews on the Omega Supreme figure, and that thing is surprisingly complex. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for that question, Boo Rat. Uh, we're gonna move on to LVC Burrow twenty three. She asks, "Have you ever? Did you ever watch Transformers Beast Wars? And did you enjoy it? Yes, I loved it. That's what got me into Transformers. Same here. Yeah, I." I only remember catching like one or two episodes of Beast Wars back when I was real young. Yeah. Never managed to catch the whole series like I did with some of the other shows like Armada. But from what I saw, it was it was pretty awesome. Yeah. I thought the CGI the the CGI uh, technology they had on there looked so so cool and futuristic to me. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, I love Beast Wars. The death of Dinobot was my, for me, it was my generation's version of the death of Optimus Prime when Dinobot died. Uh, yeah, and I still get choked up when he dies when I watch that clip. I used to, you know, it's weird. I always used to, I, I always would forget what some of the uh, what some of the guys would actually turn into, like when they. This is going to sound absolutely retarded, but they called Rhinox... When they called him Rhinox, I I never saw him actually turn into a rhino. But Rhinox did that a lot in the first season, but in the second and third, you hardly saw him transform at all. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was because he was really... He's kind of one of the few characters who didn't get the transmetal uh, treatment. Yeah, he didn't get... Rhinox didn't get shit. Yeah, he really didn't. Um, so thank you for long, long, oh yeah, Beast Machines, the sequel to Beast Wars, yeah, that, uh, fuck that shit. Yeah, Brainiac Megatron, fuck that. Wow. I didn't think it was that bad. Well, here's the other thing, they had Transformers from, uh, that people, uh, I mean, Autobots, I mean, excuse me, Maximals that transformed into plants. 